Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ. And this is just a, a quick video response to uh, Johnny Watson. He recently put out a video um, about gaming likes and dislikes. So I thought I would, well I left a comment saying I would do a, a quick video. I need some time to actually go away and think about my, my actual dislikes from the hobby. But I've got some and this is why my legal representatives are back once again on the channel. Um, these are my views and my views only. Um, but uh, if you're not been, if you're not subscribed to Johnny, uh, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Uh, head over to his channel, watch his videos, subscribe. He does some really, really great stuff uh, across a whole, a whole wide array of different um, periods and gaming formats. So on to my dislikes. Now, like I said, there's, there wasn't that many dislikes I could really think of. But I come up with three. Yes, three. Just the three. Okay, so the, the first one, neither in no no order of of dislikery, if that's a word, but um, again, no order. So the first one is um, hobby snobbery or gaming snobbery. This is not something I come across too much these days, but back in my formative gaming years, um, there was a lot of scorn on certain gaming systems or gaming types, um, and it. It really annoyed me. Uh, <laughs> I just like playing with toy soldiers. So, um, what do I mean by gaming snobbery? It's, it's thinking that the, the, the system or systems that you're gaming are infinitely better or more superior than to anyone else's. And to that, I say hooey. Absolutely not in the slightest. Whether you're gaming in an obscure war in Europe in the 14th century, in Lower Saxony, is no different to whether you're blasting the snot out of um, alien bad guys on the planet Crouton 47, 50 million years into the future. At the end of the day, we all enjoy playing with toy soldiers and rolling some dice around. Like I mentioned, it's not something I've really come across recently, uh, but you know, in, in my formative gaming years back in sort of the mid, early to mid 90s, yeah, there was, especially in my local gaming group, there was a bit of snobbery um, about what people deemed to be good or not so good games. So that's number one. Number two is poor instructions on models. Uh, I'm not gonna name any any specific brands, companies, etc. cetera. Um, I, I, because I think, I think companies in general do good and bad instructions. But for me, it's when you have, you, you, you plonk all the pit bits in your desk, there's 47 different pieces and the instructions are written on a piece of paper the size of a beer mat um, and you can't understand exactly what's meant to be going on so you trawl the internet and you find other people have had the same the same issues the same frustrations the same levels of swearing that i normally reach with them with poor or bad instructions um so it's i, I mean thankfully it's not commonplace i mean years ago yeah yeah really really bad the, the companies are getting a lot lot better uh, and their instructions are a lot more um, straightforward and accurate. Um, but it's, you still get the occasional kit where you think, yeah, what am I doing with this? I might just give up. Um, so that's my number two, would be um, poor instructions. The third and last one is poor quality control. Thankfully, again, as, as we, we, we progress in the hobby, um, things are getting better, but, um, yeah, sometimes you'll you'll, you'll get a, a, a box or an individual piece or a squad and you just think, how on earth has that been sold to a member of the public? Um, I mean, I understand that companies can't quality control 100% of their output, um, but sometimes you do ask yourself, how on earth did this did this make it out into the general public? Or how was, how was it allowed to be, to be added to a box? Um, the one that always springs to mind for me is again i'm not mentioning names quite a well-known well a very very large company that i bought something from uh, in 2013 uh, sat down to paint them um, and out of 10 figures there was something wrong with pretty much every single one of them um, just poorly poorly cast and for the money that i paid for them i really didn't expect that um, so i had replacement sent uh, to be fair they weren't they weren't much cop either but I imagine the company has, has improved uh, in the past seven years. But it's, it's sometimes you just think, how on earth? How on earth has this been allowed? But they are my three. So hobby snobbery, 
poor instructions and poor quality control. So what are my likes? Um, I love everything about the hobby. Hopefully this comes across in, in my videos that I, I, I get so much from this hobby, whether it's painting, whether it's converting, kit bashing, watching videos. Um, I just take so much from it. And it's, it's a pleasure that it's such a great community to, to be part of. Um, it's there's very 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 little in the way of toxicity um, but I think for me the, the one thing that I, t I love above all is painting and modeling that that's that's my main thing from the hobby especially kit bashing um, you may have seen that once or twice uh, on the channel that I do like the occasional kit bash um, so if you're into kit bashing yeah there's, there's one or two videos in the back catalog lads right um, that is my um, my my likes and dislikes um yeah just keeping it keeping it very very brief there six minutes i didn't realize the video beyond six minutes right i'm going to wrap this up so um don't forget head across to johnny's channel i'll pop a link to his channel in the description below also down there will be a link to our new fledgling facebook group um one below long join and have some gaming painting related chat with us um it's always fun and we're not a bad bunch. Um, but if you've got any, any comments or questions or you want to provide your own hobby dislikes and likes, uh, feel free to leave in the comments section below and I'll certainly respond to all comments and questions as always. But thanks for watching. Uh, do take care. Me and Dice for a while and I'll catch you all in the next video. So, bye-bye.